local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. Kern time 517 on this Monday afternoon. We are maybe getting a little bit of a break from the rain out across Danville, but you head just north of Danville into areas say near Smith Mount Lake, also into areas uh, just to the uh, east and south Boston, still seeing some heavier downpours. All this pushing north northeast at about 20 to 30 miles per hour. And just looks like it's going to be wet at times for us here all night long into at least the first part of the day tomorrow. And the reason being we still have a ways to go before we finally rid ourselves of this disturbance. It's a low pressure system that continues to bring rain really extending from Pennsylvania all the way south into Georgia and on the southern edge. That's where we have some nasty thunderstorms because it's a little warmer. They started to see a little more sunshine earlier in the day and that is two things. The sun and the warmth destabilize the atmosphere just south of us into North Carolina. That's where we've had severe weather over the course of the last about four to five hours. Let's look at tonight. It just looks like it's going to be a very wet go of it for us as we head throughout the course of the evening. If you're heading out and about for dinner, make sure you have your umbrella. OK, and also give yourself maybe a little bit of extra time as some of the roads uh, could certainly have some ponding of water on them. As we continue to go through time, this is 4 a.m. Still wet. This is 7 a.m. Tuesday. Still wet. However, look at noon tomorrow. Not as wet. Yeah, it may still be holding on to a little bit of rain in areas along into the east of the parkway, but the mounds will actually start to dry out by late tomorrow morning. And then by tomorrow afternoon, say three, four o'clock, most, not all, but most of the rain is gone. Tomorrow night, skies are mostly cloudy. Wednesday, we're going to have certainly a lot of cloud cover around, but only about a 20 to 30% chance for a few showers as we head into Wednesday. So the clouds hang tight for us on Wednesday, but the rain chances go down. The flood risk now through Tuesday morning is on the low to medium side. We're expecting to see a little more rain further south, and that's where the localized flood threat could be a little bit higher. Now let's talk about that flood threat. We're expecting to see about one to three inches of rain here uh, through Tuesday. We would need to get about two and a half to four inches of rain in about six to 12 hours that could potentially lead to more flooding. So while the localized flooding threat is there, it's relatively low. I can tell you that south of the border in North Carolina, they have some flash flood warnings, but you need to know they've been a little bit wetter than us here over the course of the last couple of weeks. And you need to look at the spring numbers so far. Most of us really need this rain. We have rainfall deficits ranging anywhere from a little more than a tenth of an inch in places like Danville to over three inches of a rainfall deficit over towards Blacksburg. So we all need the rain. We're all getting rain and we're getting a lot of it here over the course of about the next 18 hours or so. 65 in South Boston, lower 60s, Roanoke, Lynchburg, Martinsville, Withville, also into Blacksburg, 50s in Hot Springs and also into Covington. For tonight, periods of rain, fog may form. Overnight lows tonight between about 53 and 59. Your three-day zone-by-zone forecast showing highs only in the 60s in the NRV Tuesday, Wednesday, back into the 70s Thursday. For the highlands, keep the umbrella handy at least through tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, I think you'll dry out. Wednesday's a little wet, a little drier, I should say, with hit or miss thunder showers again developing as we head into Thursday afternoon. South side 60s Tuesday, Wednesday, lower 80s by Thursday. So we are going to warm things up by late week. In Lynchburg, you are looking at a Memorial Day weekend where we may have the chance for some hit or miss thunder showers during the heating of the day. Outside of that, I think by the holiday weekend, we're going to be a little bit brighter and potentially even a little bit drier. All right, for the Roanoke Valley, we're looking at temperatures 60s Tuesday, Wednesday, 70s Thursday, Friday, then 80 to 85 as we head into Memorial Day weekend.